Hey, what's going on guys? This is John from Power on Fun. Today we're going to be going over the three of the best open source retro gaming image builds. The first is RetroPie. It's the oldest and it has the biggest community for support and add-ons. RetroPie as well as Recallbox is configurable. It runs on Raspbian as the base with Emulation Station and RetroArch in the mix. Emulation Station is a graphical and theme emulator for the front end of this. RetroArch is a front end for the emulators for the gaming engines and media player. With RetroPie and Recallbox, you've got themes, bezels, splash screens. You can add music to either one, to RetroPie or Recallbox. RetroPie, as well as Recallbox, runs numerous emulators, numerous game systems. I'll throw up a list right here of the emulators that RetroPie can run. It's quite a massive list, and it should encompass anything that you desire. The only limitation to running these emulators is the Raspberry Pi hardware itself. Raspberry Pi 3, 3B Plus are the supported computers right now. The Raspberry Pi 4 is released, but there's no official images for the Raspberry Pi as of the release of this video. You can download the different flavors of RetroPie for the Raspberry Pi 0 or the Raspberry Pi 2 or 3. Recallbox is very similar to RetroPie. It uses Raspbian as a base as well as Emulation Station and RetroArch. It's newer. It's configured a little different. It does not have as big of a support community as RetroPie, but overall it's very nice. It also supports bezels and themes and splash screens and music, as well as numerous emulations. With Recallbox you can also download the same flavors of the image for the Pi Zero or the Pi 2 or 3. Last but not least is the newest of the new is the Blast 16 project by Tripware. It is a Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive only, so it is a very clean, very nice looking image. It does not use Emulation Station, but does use RetroArch. It's very unique in the presentation and configuration. It is not as configurable as RetroPie or Recallbox. Obviously, it's only for the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive system for emulation. But if you're a Sega Genesis or Mega Drive enthusiast, would like to make your own Sega Genesis Mega Drive system only, uh, similar to what's coming out with the Genesis Mini, then this is a great solution. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications for more videos like this. Feel free to leave me a comment or a question below. Until next time, be safe, be kind, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.